Hello there ladies and gentlemen, I am the Common Sense Guy, or as some of you would know me better as Jason. How are you all doing? This is a video that I don't normally do. I don't normally do drama videos or instances of drama on Twitter, but in this case, I need to make an exception. In this case, it has to be an exception. We have somebody called Rin Michaelis, who very recently, in November, in fact, was on a friend's channel, or associate's channel, that was hosting a debate on free speech, where in that debate, she calls herself a free speech advocate. Like me and other free speech advocates. Like me and other free speech advocates. So now that we got the premise set, that how I met this person was as a person that was advocating for free speech on social media platforms. Let's now go into the conversation in which we were actually having. So, this is where everything started. Unfortunately, due to the fact of being reported for harassment, I can't actually show you the actual tweet in which she used as a point of trying to get me done for harassment. But if you will and allow me to have this little bit of context creating, we can then carry on. We were talking about Sargon, as most situations apparently are nowadays. And how Jordan Peterson said, how can anybody describe somebody as just an anti-feminist as their political views? And me and Rin had this kind of discussion and talk about it and we had opposing ideas and views, which is great. That's the whole point of discussion and discourse. I then tweeted to her to try to simplify my argument, which was, if you're a communist, you can't call a communist just an anti-capitalist. They are a communist that has anti-capitalist views. To call a communist an anti-capitalist is just false. The same as you can't call somebody who has egalitarian views or other perceived political identities that they are just anti-feminist. And to describe somebody as either of those two nomenclatures is to be lazy and dishonest. And straight away, after I posted this to her, this is the response I got. No, you're still not making any sense to me. Wow, this guy just called me an anti-capitalist. This guy clearly has never read my bio. Also, you're the one and only person describing me as lazy and dishonest, but do go on. I wasn't describing her as lazy and dishonest at this point. I was saying that just using that as a descriptor to describe somebody's political views is lazy and intentionally being dishonest. But she has um, interpreted that as me calling her lazy and dishonest. But, whatever. So, as you can see, at this point in time, there is other people, which I'm not going to blur their names for any reason, but they're more than welcome to obviously get involved as they did. The, the point is that we were having a conversation, and I then got banned, or reported, or whatever. And at this point in time, Rin, at exactly the time where I actually got banned if you look at the timings he stopped talking to me i can't force a conversation to happen but it was hilarious why it was happening rin it's lazy and dishonest to call sargon an anti-feminist because he's pro-equality you're making it sound like he's anti-female so she kind of understood what the reasoning was behind what my point was but she purposely took everything out of context uh, I wonder how often that she'll end up doing that in this particular set. So, in response to what Rin just said, another person got involved and said, as with these pussies, you hear that common sense G. Obviously being tagged, so I just put, sorry dude, you're a messiah, which I wasn't talking about the religious leader of the Jews, I was talking about leaders of particular groups, but whatever, it was a bit of an ad hom pot shot, whatever, I don't really care. I was literally just back off of my 12 hour suspension from Twitter. So I was a little bit pissed, to be fair, for harassment. So I would have loved to talk to you, but you know, being banned off of a platform from a free speech activist, classy, and obviously put in a little 
thing up there to prove the fact that I was actually banned. And then obviously Messiah, ha ha ha, go up and pitch a dictionary. I thought, well, there's no point in trying to do anything with that. I thought I'd just leave it. But then Rin comes up and she puts, I'm nobody's messiah. I'm closer to the devil. I'm a bully on Twitter. Well, I just believe that we should have free speech over the internet. That's pretty much it. Which is fine. It's up to her. That's her point. But just, just, it's interesting. Yeah, the reports people when you shout for free speech. Hypocrite much. Well, I just believe that we should have free speech over the internet. That's pretty much it. When have I ever shouted? When have I ever did any activism for it? Do you even know what activism is? Maybe you shouldn't skip those AA meetings. I'm not a hypocrite because I'm not a free speech absolutist, nor a free speech activist. Like me and other free speech advocates, so, let's move further down. You did a live stream dispending free speech on, and this is where I tagged in Darkcon. You even do videos on it. To you, don't you advocate for free speech is being dishonest. And you can go onto her channel and you can actually see that she actually advocates for free speech in general. Um, also, she puts... Also, that's not even my video, that's a Tim Paul's video, which she mirrored and put onto her own channel as one of her own videos. Here's one defending Ralph as well, which is fine because you advocate free speech. Like me and other free speech advocates. That's not free speech absolutism, though you do realise there is a nuance between free speech and free speech absolutism. I was on Styx's channel talking about all the restrictions I believe in. Your arguments are based on presuming what I think. Mr. Strummer, give me a break. Well, don't you defend free speech, especially on social media platforms, yet report me for harassment, then say, yeah, because I'm a bully on Twitter. I then obviously link to the previous tweet of her calling herself the devil and a bully. I have never argued for free speech absolutism. I was also on Styx's channel and even my own channel with Curiosity agreeing that there should be restrictions on speech. It's not my fault you don't know what my views are if you jumped into an argument not knowing someone's views. Wow, you just don't get it, do you? I have never suggested that you support free speech absolutism. Point it out to me, please. You are assuming my views on you when I haven't once said you are an absolutist. You do support free speech and advocate for it. Like me and other free speech advocates. That's not absolutism, though. Do you know what absolutism is? It means you fight for free speech absolutely. I'm not. I believe that there should be some restrictions on free speech, so there is no hypocrisy. What? What the fuck? Read the tweet. It says, second sentence, I have never suggested that you support free speech absolutism. How is it me saying you support free speech absolutism, for fuck's sake? And this is one of the most infuriating points about talking to Rin. Now, I know that she's an intelligent girl, and I'm not trying to belitter her intelligence on this. I'm actually trying to prove to people that this is her intentionally trying to poison the well. This is her intentionally trying to say I have said something to straw man me into an argument that tries to paint her as the virtuous one. When in actual fact, as you can quite clearly and evidently see, I have never called her a free speech absolutist. I have said and proven that she supports free speech on social media platforms, which was the argument in which I was using it as a starting point. Well, I just believe that we should have free speech over the internet. That's pretty much it. But hey, this is her response to all of that. Because I would need to be a free speech absolutist in order to be a hypocrite. What? No, Ren. No, you wouldn't. 
if you support free speech and defended people like Ethan Ralph, which is fine, that's your choice to do, that's not what the issue is, but if you defend people like Ethan Ralph... Yeah, I was just defending um, Ralph's freedom of speech. ...and say that this is because he should be able to speak on a platform and not be censored, then that is defending free speech. If you say that people on Twitter, which you have done before, should have free speech on the internet, which you have said... Well, I just believe that we should have free speech over the internet. That's pretty much it. Then you are defending free speech. That makes you an advocate of free speech, which is the whole point. Like me and other free speech advocates. I'm not a free speech absolutist, therefore I'm not a hypocrite. Because I've stated in my channel that there should be restrictions to free speech. So, fine, whatever on that one. So I put, laugh out loud, wow, just wow. You are the funniest person I talk to. She is not understanding the actual point in which I was making. That she defends free speech on social media platforms and defending other people, including Sargon and Milo Yiannopoulos on Patreon and things like that. She still defends free speech and advocates for free speech, but yet, when you pull her up on her hypocrisy, when she reports somebody for harassment for talking to her, she gets all butthurt about it and says, no, I'm not an absolutist, so I'm not a hypocrite. Well, sorry, Rin, you're a fucking hypocrite. <sighs> and here we go, carrying on. That's because you don't know the meaning of words before using them. You don't know what absolutist mean. Clearly. Only absolutists believe in unrestricted free speech. I believe that free speech needs restrictions and on my channel. A again, again, I really feel like playing the straw man. Fuck it. Mr. Straw man, give me a break. Laugh out loud. Wow. Why are you using this as a defense? What level of free speech should we have? Can people have conversations without being reported for harassment? Or is that not covered under your free speech? So, this is her response to that question. I also believe in Hendoism. I believe that people should follow whatever whims give them the most pleasure. Which is absolutely fine. You can believe in hedonism if you really so choose to, but that still proves the fact that you're a hypocrite then, because that just proves that in one aspect, in November, no less, and in actual fact, two weeks ago, you did a video on Patreon on how they shouldn't be deplatforming people. Meaning that you support free speech on the internet. Well, I just believe that we should have free speech over the internet. That's pretty much it. And your hendoism decided that because I was talking to you about a particular topic, you didn't like it, so you reported me for harassment to ban me for 12 hours. Kind of hypocritical there, isn't it, darling? So, that's great. Didn't answer my question, though, did it? Which it didn't, obviously. It did. If there was a KKKKKKK rally, and an Tifa were to shout them down, then they're using their hedonistic pleasure to shout, da uh, shout somebody down. They are using speech to silence the speech of others, which creates a free speech paradox. What? You didn't answer the exact question in which I asked you, though, did you? In the actual fact of talking to somebody on the internet, and because you didn't like what they were saying, you reported them for harassment. On a whim, because you believe in hedonistic pleasure. So, what the... I asked you direct questions. What level of free speech should we have? Can people have conversations without being reported for harassment? Or is that not covered under your free speech? These are direct questions. Please answer them. Earlier on, she was moaning that I did not pay any attention to what her political views were for the argument that we were having or discussion. Yet now I'm asking directly what her personal views are on this particular situation and yet not a single answer nothing i've already answered you rin says oh no god no god 
please no 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 society isn't black nor white it's gray illic I was on the Darkcon's live stream saying that freedom of speech would also include freedom from speech. Fair enough. But that also is still the point of you were supporting freedom of speech on social media platforms. Well, I just believe that we should have free speech over the internet. That's pretty much it. He was also tagged in a Twitter argument when I discussed freedom from speech, like freedom from religion. Again, it didn't answer my fucking question at all, which, again, getting quite pissed off at this point. So, you answered nothing, and are now trying to deflect. What level of free speech should we have? Can people have conversations without being reported for harassment, and blah blah blah. The same question in which I asked three times in three separate tweets that haven't been answered, that have been deflected every time. I didn't deflect anything. I've actually answered your questions. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Why? Oh my god, stop fucking lying! Please, everybody in the chat, or everybody in the comment section down below, let me know, please let me know, if she's answered any of my questions, please, because I'm lost. It's not my fault you're not listening. So, you've answered nothing I've asked you, what you think in this situation that is and gave you questions on when can people have conversations without being reported and blah blah blah. Again, fourth time asking the same questions. Yes, that's an answer. Why can't people do something merely because they feel like it? And now we're getting to the meat of the sandwich. She did the reporting because she felt like it. This free speech advocates supported me because she felt like it because then you don't have principles you have flights of fancy and your principle change depending on how you feel meaning you can't say you defend free speech then report people for harassment just for talking to you laugh out loud and again when have i called myself a defender of free speech you're saying that not me yeah, I was just defending um, Ralph's freedom of speech. I've posted this image as an insight to how I think, which is amazing, and I'm so glad that you did. But all that that proves is that you change your political views on your whims of fancy. Your flights of fancy will take you to whatever principles that you want to set at. And I've never called you a defender of free speech. I said you advocate for free speech. There's a difference. As you quite rightly said with absolutism, there's a difference. Your channel, if anybody wants to look at her channel, which I'll link in the description box below, will be able to see that there are videos defending Ethan, uh, Ethan Ralph. There are videos that are going through the banning of different peoples, different ideas, social media bannings, so on and so forth. For her to say that she does not defend free speech is ludicrous. But, again, for me to call her a defender of free speech is not correct, hence why I never called her that. So going past all of that, you, I will link uh, all of this in the description box below so people can go through it if they so choose to, to show that I'm not hiding anything. So, no I said you defend free speech, I never said you were a defender of it, basically what I just said in it anyway. So, exactly, because I also believe that people should follow their whims. How could I be a free speech absolutist Mr. Strummer, give me a break. if I also believe that people should follow their whims? What is this uh, argument? I never called you an absolutist. Not once. Point out where I did. I said you defend free speech. Then, not the, unfortunately, because I'm a retard. Then, report people for talking to you because you think like that. Or should I say, because you feel like it. This is going to make a great video. And hence why we're here today. Go ahead, make your video. I don't care. Only free speech absolutist believes in unrestricted free speech. Mr. Strummer, give me a break. Again, what is this argument? I've never asked that. And again, asking her to 
actually clear up what her points of view are on this for the fifth time asking her what her views are and these these are what comes up it depends on the situation for example freedom of speech includes a freedom from speech just like freedom from religion includes freedom from religion so what about in this situation where we talked, we disagreed, then you reported me for harassment? What level of free speech should we have? I just thought it was funny, which is why I did it. I did it for my own amusement. So this free speech advocate did this for her own amusement. And that doesn't answer the question to what level of speech should we have. I've just got a couple of interesting things that I wanted to bring up and show you. And then this will actually be the end of the video. But I do want to get these up and running. So, this is in the separate little conversation that we were having beforehand or during whatever. Where Rin says, if we both agree that I'm not an activist, then why are you arguing with me? Where my argument is that I'm not an activist. My argument is that I'm not an activist. If you agree with me, then you don't need to be arguing with me. You could leave. And then she puts a screen cap up there as saying you did a live stream defending free speech on Darkcon's channel. You even do videos on it. To you, which is supposed to be so you don't advocate for free speech, is being dishonest. Which is true. Especially considering that you quoted the tweet in which all I did was call you an advocate for free speech. Not saying that you were an activist. But the most important part is coming on. It's, it's funny. It's very, very funny. So she carries on and says uh, there's a difference because advocating for it and activism... Activism implies donating free to free speech organisations. I've never donated to a free speech charity, whereas advocating is merely commenting on what ought to be. Now, I really want to applaud her because, yeah, that's correct. But my retort to that was, point me to where I said you were an activist and I'll wait. And then she has to try and conflate what she's actually said for something else to the point of where she says implication you left it to be interpreted if you agree that i'm not an activist then there's no hypocrisy because i'm not an activist nor am i a free speech absolutist i was on Styx's channel saying that i believe blah 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 fucking blah 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 and obviously i put after that where did i leave it up to interpretation where did i imply you were an activist and then we go on to the bits before where I've mentioned about the screenshot. Which is, if we both agree I'm not an activist, blah blah blah, and my argument is I'm not an activist, then you agree with me. If you don't agree with me, then you don't need to argue, blah blah blah. And the point was that I never called her an activist, I said you advocate. And then it looks like there's a couple of tweets that may be missing. Because I'm actually trying to look for the tweet in where she put the definition down for activism. And not what this is. But anyway. This is the reason why I put that tweet down. And the reason why I put that tweet down was because she put the definition of activism down. So because you choose to choose the word activism to describe what the action of being an activism. What activist was. If I do call you an activist. Then the definition of activist would apply. Not the word activism. As activism would be the ism of you doing something. Not the fact that you are advocating for something. There's a difference. Hence why I helped you understand the difference in definitions. So let's have a look at what activist means, shall we? A person who campaigns to bring about political or social change. Almost like trying to say that I want the internet to be a free speech platform. And then actually advocating for that interesting adjective campaigning to bring about political or social change interesting isn't it that campaigning doesn't mean that you have to put money to it it means that you draw attention to it ah 
That's interesting. You did a live stream actually debating on the efficacies of freedom of speech on social media platforms, remember? You even quote tweeted it at me. And then it goes on to stupidness about, so you're arguing against grammar. No, it was a case of actually using the correct word for the correct definition. But, you know, she doesn't understand that. I just thought that would be interesting. I've got a couple of others that I would like to point you to as well. Just so everybody can remember that at the start of this, I'm nobody messiah, I'm closer to the devil, I'm a bully on Twitter. Just so everybody can remember that. Well, I just believe that we should have free speech over the internet. That's pretty much it. And just in case people don't think that she reported me, this is her actually admitting it. My tweet beforehand was, so you reporting me for a harassment was trolling. Oh my god, this is too good. And she puts, yeah, exactly. Meaning that she's agreeing to what I've just said. That she had reported me for trolling. We trolls need to be very creative these days. And you took the bait and fed the troll. To be honest, whatever on that one. I don't think that she really did anything on that aspect. But, you know, is what it is. And just in case you think that I was being too hard on her or anything. Or I got her to do something about it. Then... This is Zach Darkon, who actually asked her the same question. So, was the reason why you reported him really because you just wanted to troll him? And here again, this free speech advocate that defends freedom of speech and is all over her channel. Please have a look. Yep, we trolls got to be very creative these days. That's the one thing that trolls have that others don't creativity now again whether you believe that she was able to troll somebody is irrelevant it's the fact that she has said that one it was a whim that she decided because of her hendonistic ideas that she was going to report me now she's changed that but has still confirmed that she reported me by saying that she was a troll on it hence why now this proves that she is a hypocrite.